Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the Security Analyst Level 1, also known as a SAL1 exam from TryHackMe. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. And what we're gonna be doing today is reviewing it, and I did pass this exam. So I took it, I passed it, so I know firsthand the experience of it. So stay to the end and I wanna give you a little announcement. So I wanna announce something towards the end, so watch all the way through and let's just have some fun and learn a few things. So let's jump into it. All right, folks, so the Security Analyst Level 1 certification is awesome. I gotta say, it was super, super cool, the experience, everything. So we're going to go over that today. So the first thing here, you can stand out and become job ready with practical defense certification design for the industry experts. Prove your skills and showcase real world. So what this means, you're really going to triage. You're going to get into a SOC environment, but we'll get to that shortly. Yes, I did pass and thank God I didn't need to take a free attempt. And we can look at my results, my results are here, my score is whatever, it doesn't really matter about that. If I click on view results, we'll um, go over here in a second. Let's just go ahead and exit that for just for just for a moment. Let's go about like, what is this? What is this certification all about, right? So the SAL1 certification is a hands-on practical certification that validates entry level SOC analyst skills in threat detection triage and incident response utilizing real world scenarios. And I gotta say, this is really, really valid. The reason why I'm saying this is, when I went through this exam, I thought it was gonna be a lot easier. I'm gonna be 100% honest. I thought it was gonna be a breeze. It was gonna be boop, 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 easy peasy, you know? And I haven't really watched any reviews. I think I watched John Hammond's when he said he passed it and you know, like when he was going through the through, through the exam. And, uh, you know, I was like, I wanna, you know, when I when I checked it out, I was like, I wanna see how easy it was because I love John to death. John's an awesome kid. I don't think he'll ever watch this video, but when he when he failed the, the, uh, the last part, I was like, oh, that's pretty interesting. I wonder why, you know? And the reason, I don't know the reason why John did, but like when they say pay attention to each detail when, when you start the exam, you have to go through some steps or whatever. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to what TryHackMe wants in their report. That, you know, the who, what, where, when, and why, whatever they say. Because if you don't identify that, that's where I think you will get dinged. So really, really pay attention to that. Okay? So you will have a multiple choice questions. So you have 80 questions within an hour. And then you have two SOC simulated assessments you know, testing real world security analyst skills. So you have like two hours for each simulator. So it's like five hours total, right? So I think I did it in about four four hours and some change, which I thought it was pretty cool. Like, you know, I thought, uh, you know, I did a good job. And so the pre uh, prerequisites, right? So you, let, let's go ahead and go, let's right click and open up recommended learning. So. They say there's no there's no prerequisites required for this, but I think, you know, you should understand uh, where was it right here? Pre security path is definitely definitely needed, especially for the multiple choice questions. Cybersecurity one on one, I did do all of these prior to even knowing about the certification and SOC level one. So all of the, all of these paths are very very critical for your success. I'm telling you firsthand because I just took took this exam, so I know. Right, so you can get your practical knowledge, right? Investigating with Splunk, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right, so they do use Splunk in this exam, so you will know, you will learn how to use Splunk, and you will need to learn how to use Splunk in order to, for you to be successful, right? So I don't know if these little check marks. No, I don't think I did. I, I think I did go through these rooms, you know, way back when, and then you have a simulator, right? So the SOC simulator. You know, take, you could take this available simulated um, simulator just to get prepared for this exam. So you get the feel for it. And I'm super glad I did that 
You know, I did a little video on the sock simulator, I think, I don't know, a week ago or so. So pretty much all you have to do is, is, is follow these steps and you will be successful, right? If you have some experience in sock, right? Or maybe some, not even IT experience, because there's some people that fail this exam that have IT experience, right? I know publicly, I think I know two people that, you know, I watched a bearded IT dad, he failed it, right? And he's a network engineer, he's a network whatever, guru, right? So he doesn't work in cybersecurity, but he knows IT fundamentals, but he failed. And another person I know, um, he's, not, he's not a public figure, but he just, he failed it as well, right? So having some SOC and security fundamental knowledge is key for your success. No matter what anyone tells you, I did the exam and I know, okay? So we went about, about, uh, about it, recommended learning paths and exam details, right? So for the exam, let's make this a little larger, see if I can zoom that in a little bit. So the exam details, right? Passing score is 750 out of 1,000. You have 24 hours to complete the exam. So doesn't say doesn't mean you have 24 hours for the exam. I think you have five hours, right? You have an hour for the multiple choice and then two hours on each simulator. That equals five hours. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the difficulty is beginner. And like I said, there's, there's nothing required for you to take this exam, but we offer recommended learning paths. Definitely, definitely do this. Please be successful in this. And uh, you must have a valid. So this is where I think it's a little, I understand why they do it, but you know, you have to take a driver's license or I took my driver's license. You take a picture of it, you send it to them and uh, make sure it's, it, it's, it's really you that's doing the exam, I guess. God forbid you did fail. You have fun, one free retake, further retakes. Hopefully you don't have to get to here. Then you have to pay a, a, a hundred pounds, right? The, the exam is in English. So the first section is multiple choice. Like I said, it's 80 questions, 60 minutes. So you have what, I don't know, less than a minute each, each, each uh, question. So you, you, know, you pretty much have to be pretty quick on that, right? So the multiple, um, the multiple choice questions section tests your fundamental security knowledge, right? Cybersecurity knowledge covering content from the security 101 and SOC level one paths. So that's why it's recommended to do these in order for you to be successful. Or if you have some fundamentals, if you have maybe Security Plus or CYSA Plus, you'll probably be successful. But I'm just saying, you know, don't think you're going to wing it if you worked at, you know, Giuseppe's Pizza Parlor last night and you're going to come in here and, and ace this. I guarantee you don't, unless you're some genius, but uh, it's not going to happen. I can, I can bet on that. But anyhow, so... You know, pretty much that's the multiple choice questions section. And then you have two sections, two, two and three of a SOC simulator, right? So you have a um, certain amount of alerts for two hours. You know, like they give you a whole bunch of alerts and you have to triage. I did them all in both sections. I just did them all, false positive, true positive, write my little report. If you need to escalate it to a higher engineer, you just say escalate and put why you need to escalate, etc. Okay, so the SOC simulator tests your practical skills, right? So pretty much it tells you you're in a SOC environment and you have a compromised system. How are you gonna go about verifying if that machine has been compromised? Or if you have some malware on your machine, how are you gonna check? You know, so you have to go investigate, right? So you'll see different alerts you know, triggered in real time. This is pretty cool, right? It, it was really, really cool. And then you'll have to prioritize and triage effectively. You know, you have your low, medium, high, critical, urgent, whatever, and you just go ahead and, and do your job, right? So it was really, really cool. I really, really enjoyed it, right? So now we'll get to, what is this one? So, so we'll get to how the exam, you know, I passed it you know, cool deal. So I got an 837, which was pretty good, I think, um, 750s to pass. So I did it in about four hours and some change. So I still had 50 minutes left. So I did it in a, in a pretty decent time. And so the sections, how it's scored, 
We have security fundamental of uh, security analyst fundamentals. I got a 185. I think that was pretty good because here is the passing score. So this was what? Let's see if it hover over it. Progress bar. Okay, so I don't really know what this is or what score this is. And then you have section two and section three. Uh, lockdown at, at, at dark and then red alert, command and control. I barely passed that one. But uh, but yeah, so this is pretty much how it's structured, right? And then once you pass, you get a cool little certification like this. I don't know if you can see it, but you, you know, SAW1 certification, and you can share it on your LinkedIn, on your resume, and then it actually goes on to your, I guess, I don't even know, I guess it goes on to your profile too. Uh, let's see, I don't know, certificates maybe? Let's see if it, it does it show up here? No. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where badges, maybe. I don't know where it, where it shows up. But anyhow, I don't know. I don't know where it shows up. But it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty cool. All right. So I'm trying to think what else I wanted to talk about. So as far as jobs, right? So why is this such a critical, critical certification to get? I think it's a critical certification to get because you get the hands on training, right? You learn about Splunk. You learn about how alerts come in and how to prioritize them, right? When you click this alert, and once you're done analyzing that alert, you go, you triage it, and you put false positive, true positive, and et cetera, right? So that is pretty much real world, right? And you can put this real world experience on your resume now, and when you go to an interview, you can say, yes, maybe you haven't worked at a SOC yet, but you can say, yes, I do have experience triaging. I learned how to use Splunk. In the certification that I took my SAL 1 exam, I learned how to do X, Y, and Z. And you can demonstrate how you did that, right? So it's definitely, definitely a good one to get. And what I wanted to announce, I announced a little bit on Instagram, but I am doing a giveaway to two lucky winners. So TryHackMe actually gave me two vouchers to give away to my subscribers to my supporters or whatever you want to call you guys i love you all so what i need you to do is in the comments put sal one and why do you think you should get this exam like why do you think what why would you benefit from it let's do that sal one and then why sh uh why would you benefit from the certification right so put that in the comments I'm going to actually do the giveaway or the pull of the giveaway this week, which is today is, I think, what is today? The 31st. So I'll probably do it this Friday or this weekend, and I will pull it and I will, you know, reach out to the people that have won. And if you are on, on uh, you know, on, on YouTube, and please join my Discord server as well. The, the link is in there. So if you say, hey, and I say, hey, this is the winner, Joe Blow. Who's Joe Blow? I need to have some kind of, I need to get their, their information for me to get their, their exam voucher. Okay, so that's it for this. Thank you so much for viewing and I'll see you guys in the next one.